everybody, on this video I'm going to show you how to replace the motherboard for your Robo R1 Plus. Couple things I wanted to say real quick before we actually do the replacement. I ordered the board off of the Robo website. I think it was eighty dollars. Um, it comes with all new drivers, which is good. Um, I'll also show you how to replace these drivers if you need to. It's just a simple pop on and back off. But while we're in there, I'll show you that. And when I did receive the board, if you look right here on the end. This pin is bent, and there are a couple other ones that were bent when I first got it. I contacted the customer service about it, and they said that that happens often on their boards, um, and to just bend it back into place, and they've never had a problem. But if there was a problem, they'd replace the board. Which I thought was kind of weird that they know it's a known problem and haven't figured out how to either ship it better or store it better at their facility so that's something you want to watch out for just make sure that all the pins are um, correct before you go to start plugging things in now onto the actual repair you're going to want to flip your printer on its side i always like to lay it down on the front because there's no cables on the bed where on the back you have a cable coming off of the bed to do the heated bed and everything like that Go ahead and lay it down. Like that. There's several screws here on the bottom that you want to go ahead and remove. Before you go ahead and pull this off, you want to be very careful because this fan right here has a very short power cable. So you want to pop it out just a little bit and get in there and unplug the cable so you don't accidentally pull the cable. It's just a little tiny guy. Which plugs in right down here on the bottom of the board. Alright, here's the old board that we're going to take out. Here's the new board that we're going to put in. What I would suggest doing is leave them sitting just like this next to each other and then just move one cable over at a time. That way you don't get any of your cable swapped and uh, have to try to figure it out later. I also suggest taking a picture of this before unplugging it and kind of try to move the cables out of the way so you can see what goes where. Um, just in case something does happen while you're moving everything over. And like I was saying earlier, if you do have to replace what they call the drivers, it is just these little pieces. They are, there are five of them on this particular board. Just pop it out and pop your new one back in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start moving the cables. Alright, so I've got most of the parts moved over here. The big uh, four wire connector just pops out like a regular plug, but these ones here kind of slide out sideways. Like that. And then slide back in. Just like that. Make sure they click into place. Same with this guy. So that we've got everything moved off of this board. You see there's a screw here and a Phillips screw here. 
We'll undo both of those and screw in the new board. When you're putting in the new board, make sure to line up the plug with the hole on the outside of the box. And we put the screws in and reattach the board. You want to make sure not to tighten down too hard, otherwise you'll just snap the board, but tighten down enough that it's not going to flop all over the place and cause problems. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the fan before you put the bottom on. It's the last spot on the four white connectors down here. Let's put that on. Make sure your wires aren't going to get caught in either the fan or the bottom as you put it back on. And then just pop it back into place and put your screws back in. you change out your motherboard. I would suggest keeping the drivers um, off of your old board just in case you need them at some point later in the future for this board. Um, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below. Um, everything will be linked to the board and the drivers um, in case you need either one of those. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.